Seems like there's a trick here in Illustrator that I never ever knew before. And this is like morphing shapes together live. And also the gradient is live, which is interesting. So you can achieve this with a couple of tricks. So let's see how to do this. First, we're gonna go to the fill. I'm gonna swap it. So the fill is gonna be black. And I'm gonna click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle like that. And I'm gonna press and hold alt and drag it, create another copy, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down. And I'm gonna put next to each other, select both, right click, make compound path. And now let's go to the effects path and here you're going to select offset path and we're going to increase the offset until it's going to touch each other like that i'm going to go with 25 and make sure to change the joint from meter to around and click ok now we're going to go again to the effects path and offset path again and this window is going to pop up click on apply new effect now let's go to the joints again, change it to round, and this time the offset, we're gonna decrease it until it is going to create this morphing effect. Now this is pretty unreal. I gotta go with uh, minus 20, click OK. And if you go to the appearance here, you can see both offsets in here. You can click on them, you know, and just re-customize it however you like. So the question is, how can you move one of the circles around because now it's like together. Now, how I understood, all you need to do is just double click on one of the circles and select the smaller circle. But of course, it's not working because it's a compound path now. And what I did, I selected the direct selection tool here and I'm going to select all the paths from the circle like this and just select one of the paths and drag it. And this way it is going to work. OK, so now let's go at some gradient. And we're gonna go to the gradient and let's go ahead and select the radial gradient. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, select the direct selection, select the circle like this and just drag one of the paths. And look at this, the gradient is following the smaller circle. This is so bizarre. All right, so the question is, how can you create a vector out of this? Because of course, this is not a vector here, only these circles are vectors. This looks like a stroke, by the way, but it's not. So I'm going to go back to a normal color. And all you need to do is go to the object, expand appearance, and check this out. The circles inside disappeared. And now you're left with this fully editable vector shape. And this is how you morph live shapes here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.